Welcome to Mad Cardigan. This is going to be a extremely, extremely long playthrough of Skyrim. We're going to call this Clear the Realm, and I'll explain more as we go along. Uh, this character I've made kind of as closely as possible you from resembles Fold, myself. Right? Fleeing from some court uh, Much less muscular, I think Captain, I am, than this character, but uh, hair He's and beard are pretty list. close. Let's put it that way. Forget Eye color and all that. He goes to the block. <laughs> By all so. orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. I've chosen Follow a Breton the captain, prisoner. for this playthrough because of their magic resistance. Uh, this is a clear the realm playthrough, which means I'm going to discover every single location on the map. I will Ulfric have a completely Stormcloak. filled in map. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and right, usurp his throne. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know how I got mixed up war, in all this shit anyway. Run Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. The retort? What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. A lot of yes, nothing around General here. Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. <laughs> Brave wish. guy. Come on! I haven't got all morning. What's going on here? My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Ooh, okay, yep, I was just hitchhiking. I don't even know these guys. How the hell did I get mixed up in this? You imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the storm Ask me a question, I'll tell you anything. I'm not a storm cloak. As fearless in death as he was in life. Shut up, Blondie. Next, the Breton! I'm not a Breton, I'm an Imperial. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I'm a fucking Khajiit. I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. You got a problem with the guy with the, the mouth guard on, the fucking blindfold or whatever it's called. Why don't you kill him? Save me for last. Save the best for last. You're gonna regret this. What You're gonna have nightmares. Is that? Sentries. What do you see? Ah, just in time, my buddy. Dragon! Hey Al. <laughs> Posted my bail. I like it. This way. You man. How did you get rid of your, your bonds bondage? What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends Everybody got untied but me. Villages. We need to That's move my buddy Al. Now. He just came to bail me out. Up through the tower. Let's go. Here, follow me. I know. I know the way. I've been this way a couple of times. Ow! Thank you, Lord. Watch it. Hardcore. Cops. This guy's not a bad guy, though. He's just kind of making a living. Yeah, seriously. Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have if to I find General Tullius and join the defense. just about to chop my head off. God's guide you, Hadvar. Hadvar, I'll remember that name. Stay close to the wall! Quickly, follow me! Now you want a bit, it's a little overboard, man. I just asked you to bail me out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm free, my bonds are gone. Except they're not. It's not safe ragdolling with, uh, with your wrist tied. Nightmare. It's you and me, prisoner. Stay close. All right, come on, man. Oh, 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 oh. 
Rayla, you damn traitor! Out of my way! It's about time you got here. We're escaping, Hammer. Yeah. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. You come on. into the keep. With me, prisoner. Let's go. For the 0.1% of you that have never played Skyrim before, I'll go ahead and talk since you've probably been in the we'll story. Meet again in the Guard, brother. So you get rescued, you go through this little dungeon. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Teaches you, you know, a little tutorial how to equip, a dragon. how to use certain no doubt. weapons and stuff. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Where's my there bindings? You Thank you. you. May as well take Gunyer's gear. Yeah, Gunyer ain't gonna need it. He won't be needing it anymore. All right. Nope, get that armor dokey. on and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. <laughs> Let's see about that gate. So, like I said, Mad Cardigan. Glad everybody joined me. If you like Damn, long playthroughs no or so, open this from our side. sit back, relax, and watch this whole one. Might take up a good chunk of your life. Come on, soldiers! Fortress, you know, it's gonna take up a good, a Can't long chunk open. of mine. I don't know why I do this to myself. I do love Bethesda games, though. As wonky as they are, they're still great. Figured That's clearing the map of Fallout 4, not enough. You gotta do Skyrim, too. This is Skyrim, so we don't have maps, we have realms. So I should have called the other clear the common one. That would have been a better one. But now, because there's DLCs where you go, other places too, Far Harbor and all that shit. Haven't decided on what type of uh, armor I'm going to use yet. This is going to be a, a very generalized, do it all type character since we're doing the entire map. Uh, going to be different situations for different stuff so uh, That's it. Come on. any mod Let's that I have on this is just for visual the effects there's no um, uh, not cheating mods but modification mods you know not getting extra skill or anything like that. I'm not a big uh, big mod guy I like the the base games I may use uh, an exploit, you know, an in-game exploit that's that's doable without, you know, console commands. Or I'm, I'm playing on a Xbox, so can't do that anyway. But you understand what I mean? No cheat codes. Some mods with uh, leveling up and then taking money from your follower mod or things like that. You'll see what I'm talking about. Sort of where you can whack a can whack a vendor to make them shit some of that extra money that they have. I'll show you that. Most people probably know these, like the back of their hands. Grab some healing potions. Yeah, I'll use magic. I'll sneak. I'll use a bow. I'm usually like a sword and board type guy, not a not a two-handed weapon. Normally, I mean, in this game you can go either way. Let's get Besides moving. blocking a few arrows with a shield, which they always seem to hit me in the face. You know, just just the bash part, you know, just to stun uh, stun guys is the reason I use shields. Torture room. Hear that? Come on. You like a sword, maybe an axe. You know, I like the speed of the sword, even though because you know you, you know that I miss about two thirds of my shots when I swing, even in third person. Damn figure the with Empire. the sword I'll get more swings at overall or DPS wait a second looks like there's thing in this case grab everything uh, it's locked you know looting's good um, I'll try not to to slow Maybe this the, the gameplay down out. I'm not gonna go through every grab single item and you know, I'll try to grab the important stuff and I know I'll miss stuff you know y'all let me know in the comments but when I screw up you know don't fill up the comments because I'm gonna screw up a lot. Let's let's keep it to the major screw ups, okay? Tell me when I miss a unique item or something like that.
Okay. magic stuff call this my uh, my sass build sneaky assassin spell sword nickname sassy try to get through this with uh, with one life I know that is extremely wishful thinking Especially in Bethesda, physics can Orders kill you. To wait until General Tully I'm arrives. not going to play I'm overly cautious. To you know, there's some, some YouTubers out there that can go through all these Bethesda games and shit. You know, uh, Many a true nerd doesn't want health bar. In the game. He has some excellent filters, uh, but it does slow down the game somewhat. So I won't be completely reckless, but I'm also not going to, you know, crouch through the entire map. Keep, keep a little bit of excitement. Come on, bitch, and then I step him on fire. Look at that rock star. Fire star. Let's go on ahead. The way is clear. Got the all important inventory and money. Gotta have the money. See that? <laughs> I got physicked from bouncing up a, a dropped Let's armor off the goes. ground and it, it injured me somewhat. Oh, Bethesda. Make sure you got all your favorites going on. Come on, you gonna jump. Switch back from Fallout 4 to uh, Skyrim, you know, different playthroughs and all that. And it always takes me that first minute or two to make sure I have the controls down again. And you know, you, I'll try to switch to VATS in in Skyrim all the time. You know. <laughs> oh, lovely spiders! Not a huge fan in real life. Don't mind snakes. Spiders can do it all. Can't trust that many eyes. No offense to you arachnophiles out there. Do survival mode. Wait. It is interesting this game. I don't think it's as good as the Fallout 4 survival mode, but uh, it, it slows everything down. You know, you guys don't want to sit here and watch me cook and you know gather there ingredients to eat and all that it's shit. Like so for good this time. let's keep it to the, no way the to hack know and if slash and set shit on alive. fire. Okay. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up ah, the road. Ah, Gerder. She sounds like I'm a fine sure woman. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay, remember that. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. Yeah, they try to if cut my head off will know what for the hitchhiking. The dragon means, it's a little extreme. It's 
Oh, I see. You're just trying to fill up my quest log. I appreciate it. See that ruin up there? Yep, I'll be there soon enough. What should I grab? I need every freaking skill, so... I do think my sneak is probably going to be my most important thing. Sneaking and, and bows and all that. Just in case I get into some, you know, some hairy situations. I haven't decided on ultimately what my, uh, my difficulty level will be. Um, I don't play these games to struggle and grind through. I mean, Bethesda makes it that you can play as hard or as easy as you want, but real life is vexing enough. So you're supposed to be superheroes in these. You're supposed to be powerful. So I, I don't start very hard right off the bat, you know. But saying that, after your levels and you're, you're very competent and you're, you're armored and weaponed up and all that kind of stuff, playing on very easy, you know, that's also not fun, you know. And so I usually scale my my levels to make it appropriate for, you know, for how good, how well equipped I am at the time. Like I'm, I'm a few levels in on my Fallout 4 uh, playthrough and you know I'm ramping it up to very hard I won't go to survival on that one either because of the grind you know that I need the fast travel god I'd go nuts without fast travel same thing in this so you know so but uh, you know eventually we'll get up there in the leveling and we'll get up crazy levels and everything uh, I won't restrict myself from anything I'll, I, I love using followers I know they're incompetent most of the time but especially in Fallout 4 except for dog meat and but in this game uh you, you can have some decent guys you know they can really help you out and i like watching how I things organically unfold when you what? let npcs now, do mother? some of the work it was as big as the mountain and black as night. you know it bethesda has such barrel. fantastic random events that just pop up you know you always find something new I've, I've played this game for god how long has it been almost 15 years 13 14 15 years something like that and i still find shit brand new every time you play this Did game. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Oh, my favorite low-level elf. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. Camilla Valerius. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking, maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Sure, I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. So you can either help, you know, in this early part, you can help Sven, which was that blonde guy. One of your comrades? Or, uh, New to or the elf, and either of one course. can be your uh, Use follower, the key to the very house. early follower. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Yep, can I dig through your pockets, please? Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? There we go. Don't need all your food, just anything that's valuable. Lockpicks, healing potions, all that. Yep, thank you. Dragons, dragons, dragon. dragons. In Helgen? It can't be. I, said, I will let the dialogues Although, play out. You know, there are some people that, I saw earlier, for some unknown reason, haven't ever played south. this game or have never I seen it. I must have just been seeing things. So, I, I want them to be able to, to see everything. I don't know why. But I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. I would love to Things sit here and play this game all the way worse. through. First the you know, war, for someone who's never dragons. experienced it before and What's for this whatever reason to? can't play the game. The Jarl needs to but, know you know, if that's the a ultimate on the for these, these playthroughs. I want to show you everything and have a nice long to get journey. To you know, put on YouTube and just zone out. send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be Because that's what I do when I'm playing. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. You're right. Follow me. Okay, so they're wanting me to go and, and talk to the, the ruler around here of this, this section of the map. And let him know about the dragon. Even though Al's my buddy. What are you know, doing that, that big dragon. I'll be right down. Now, as far as stopping well, for every line of dialogue, something. you will never leave Riverwood no. if you stop no and listen to every single no person talk. No Same chasing. in every town. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. 
Oh, Camilla. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed letter brother. letter for you. Another poem, I bet. Yeah, He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf Such thinks all I'm going to worse. do is stay in that He's a filthy house follower. of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. There I better you go. get going. I'll take an elf with a bow well, over a bar any day. The Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Well, Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a inventory. general store. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I do want to keep uh, just a couple of things so that I can, um, once I have Feindall as my follower, I can equip him a little bit better. Most followers, you know, they don't have, you know, they're not wearing very good armor, you know, their, their weapons, everything can be improved on, on a follower. So it's always a good idea to, to keep a few items. Don't like us walking around as Imperials, but, you know, what are you going to do until you get some better armor? Keep some magic things so that you can uh, uh, deconstruct them and learn the, the spells uh, that, that are contained in them. And then you can later on put it in your own equipment. That's a little bit down the line. You know, there's a lot of uh, skills that have to be learned first. I want to learn sparks. Don't get rid of spell books until you make sure that you've learned them all. Got to read the book. Which I uh, yeah, chronically we, forget we to do. We did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Deal. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... Need something. That's what I'll show. By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Yeah, I won't reload saves. If I die, I die. I'm hoping I won't, but... Uh... Don't save scum and all that kind of stuff. To go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You live with your mistakes in this game. Here, the the all right, let's go get my first follower. River was got a better bow enough, than I, I have suppose. right off the bat. For it. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. And you can take. Uh, Lead the way. Still here. Trade with them, and anything you take from them, what do you want like their main weapon, like his bow and all that, you can take it because he is going to spawn one. See, I took his, but he's got it right back. Now, he'll normally fight with just a dagger or something, which we don't want in case he goes close quarters on somebody. And he's not wearing any armor, he's just wearing clothing. So, now you look like a fighter. Probably not going to be very popular around here wearing those imperial clothes, but. Got me a new bow. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Let's get our correct quest loaded up. We're going to that ruin way the hell up there on that mountain. I thought there was a nice little trail we can take. And they are still over here right. reminiscing. Blah, What's blah, blah. Dragons, dragons. Look pretty well done in. I can't remember my last. Mud crab. Can you imagine how many people that would feed? Damn, damage, damage to them. Ooh, those guys ain't messing around. Okay, so make sure you uh, get all your stuff favorited, just in case you need it. Get my heal spell out. 
you will regain health over time, but you might as well get some experience for just using some uh, magic that will replenish pretty quickly. It's already back, so. Some wolvies. Come on, I know you're there. Yeah, you're so steep. Use that stamina. Wearing this heavy armor, stamina drains really quickly. I'll try to, you know, equally distribute a lot of my points. I want to keep some health going because I, I really don't want to die over and over again. I've died a couple times in my Fallout playthrough trying to not to, but it's, you know, without being just hyperly cautious, it's almost inevitable. When I use a bow, I was going to first person, you know, because I don't know if any of you played this, but firing a bow from third person in this game is, I haven't figured it out. I'm sure there are experts at it, but I am not one of them. And I need a, a good reticle, you know. All right, there's a guy that just popped in by the tree. Or a lady, maybe. Nice, good slow-mo that knows you hit. Quack. Got him. Another buddy. Oh, that missed. Okay. Forgot to get my sword going. See? There you go. Gotta get your favorites up. Flame on. Whack. Okay, in Skyrim, the, the use of a certain skill is what levels you up in it. And as you level skills, your overall level goes up. Then you can spend points. It's a little bit different in, in um, Fallout. Fallout is just, uh, you just level from completing missions and stuff, and then you get to spend stuff in a, in a perk chart to make yourself better. Don't know which one I like better. I, I think I enjoy the fact that they're both very different. That way, not only am I playing eat this, eat fire. Eat it. There you go. Let's get out of some of this Imperial dog armor. A better shield, too. I like that. Steel mace. Okay. With that little arrow beside it means it's actually higher armor than what you're wearing, so... Okay, now I'm blending in to the area a little bit better. I love a good chest. Where did my fearless follower go? Did I lose him? A lot of times he won't come into the tower though that I've noticed. Alright. Get that bow up. Heading on to the next, next spot. Let's see what we got here. You can't see them, but they're in the area, and so you can increase your sneak just by being sneaky around people, which I think is a, a nice system. Hope I saw him up there. Oh, but he saw me because my sneak is not good, and I'm standing out here in the open. So, let's see if we can't out archer this guy. There's a bunch of them up there too. Oh, there we go. Boop. Totally missed. Good thing about uh, ranged uh, followers. Like my buddy over there. They are much better shots than I am, so. Come on, Faint. I'll take him out. He's up there. Ooh, there you go. They're not infallible, you know, they're not they're not one shot kills or anything, but Okay, let's go ahead and Get 
Yeah, let's get the flames out. Not ready to bash yet. Here we go. Jump. Oh, jump. Oh. There we go. It was all me, baby. Find all you didn't do anything. Okay. Grab some loot. I'm a big fan of just, uh, in most cases, just grabbing a bunch of shit and then dropping it as I get over encumbered. Okay. So this is uh, Bleak Falls Barrow, I'm pretty sure. Many times I've played this, I should know this like the back of my hand. That's where I'm supposed to get uh, the Riverwood Trader's Golden Claw back. Let's get back and get sneaky. You guys are like, it's like you're fighting ninjas sometimes. They just sidestep arrows. Usually they can't do it twice. So you can get shot at them from a distance. Okay, so we got our first level. So you get to choose from magic, health, and stamina at the bottom. Each level you get to choose one, which will add 10 points to it. So I'll go with the standby of health, and then you have an entire range. Each one of these is a tree. And the good standbys, you know, get your weapons damage up, weapons and armor. So I'm a little bit better with a sword now. Don't go after every chest. Chests, unfortunately, in this game are strangely leveled, I guess you would say, from my experience. Um, you can have, like, master locked chests that have almost nothing in them, and you can have chests that are unlocked and have fantastic stuff in them. It's just there's no rhyme or reason. It, I think some of it is tied to your own level, but you will not see me struggling for 10 minutes to get through a master lock. <laughs> There are perks that will allow you to um, get through these um, different level locks faster, but I don't believe in wasting perks on those skills unless you just have perks to spend. Still here. But in a playthrough like this, where I'm going to try care? to do everything, uh, that that's not not one of them. So, and there is a, an item that you can get later on in the game that will allow you to pick any lock because it's just an unbreakable pick, and we'll probably get that at some point. Let's give him a bunch of stuff and see if he likes any of this armor better. I can't ever remember which one is better. I don't want to give him heavy stuff though because he's an elf, he's an archer, he should have light stuff on. If you give him heavy armor they're going to put it on even though they don't use it as well. Got to give him some of the heavier stuff. I know he'll probably use, yeah. I'd rather him not be using the... If he is going to use the steel. Feindall using a two-handed battle axe just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> you Save it for the Nords, buddy. Oh, the nostalgia. I remember back in the day watching, watching uh, wait for this game to come out. And this was like the first dungeon walkthrough that they had a sneak peek of. And this was like the most amazing thing anybody had ever seen. And this is... Oh, hang on, sneaky. This guy's a scripted event. He's going to kill himself by trying to open a booby trap door. Bad idea. 
Yep. And you better let him get it too, because this guy's actually tough. He's a uh, he's over leveled usually, and because I've played this so many times, the combination is snake snake whale. These are little combination locks. And if you don't get it right, then you will get hit with poison darts too. Yeah, see, he's an outlaw. I've been fighting basics up until now. Open the door. No darts, thank you. And grab a torch too. If you give a torch to your follower, they'll use it at appropriate moments. Let's put it that way. I don't normally use a torch myself. I just kind of stumble around in the dark guy. Okay. Sword play, I'm usually a, a third person guy. You know, it's, uh, it's easier to, to see what's going on around you. First person, you can lose your lose your vision and not know where the hell they are if they get behind you and stuff. A bunch of rats going to come flying up here. Oh, yep. Fast. These little shits would give you a disease, too. Not interested in herpes this early in the game, guys. Oh, you got it. It's kind of a random thing that I don't always get you. But see how faint all? Just pick them off of the bow. I would have never been able to hit that little shit. Looting is easier in first person, but I don't want to switch back and forth too much. Is that you, Bjorn, nope, it's none of those people. It is I, Mad Cardigan. And feigned all the Wonder Elf. Okay. Mm hey, Wonder Elf, handle this. Oh, get your ass back in the door. There you go, you're doing great. I'll stay in here. Flank him. Flank, flank. Go, pussy. Oh, you had a garnet. Usually, they don't have anything but the the venom. Get me out of here. And don't let Arvel talk, because all he does is run from you <laughs> to get the same damn thing. Yeah. Okay, now we get into the, like the, looks of the this. dead Nord Viking fuckers. They're all asleep. Uh, so you have a bow that does almost enough damage to actually work. <laughs> I hate that. Oop, take that rock. Hope you enjoy bad bow play because you are going to get a load of it with me. If it is a missable shot, I will nail it. We'll take that. He set off the booby trap. That was awesome. Is there another one in here? Oh, how'd he die? That other one was already dead. Draugers aren't usually good for much but bone meal. Um, but the bow that I'm using. Actually, the the old dead dead guy bows here are better damage, I believe. Any of the guys that are sleeping, you can tell which which are real ones. There's real. Oh, thank you, Fandall. Taking my glory, bitch. recent update has actually added some uh, some new um, guys or new uh, weapons like for the, the ancient Nord stuff there didn't used to be a mace and all that it's pretty cool so 
little sneaky. And they'll go to wherever they hurt. Oh, see? <laughs> Perfect example. They'll go to wherever the, the arrow went. Oh, I missed that. Good lord. Oh, right in the face. Come on, come on. Panic shot. Just shot to the floor. Swords aren't that great. See, the bow's a little bit better. So, a lot of the damage is a lot of it's tied to the arrows that you're using too. So. I usually just rely on the fact that I'm sneak shooting or sneak shooting people. Oh, right into that swing axe, fantastic. Didn't get the sneak shot on him. Close to my weight limit, so I don't want to over encumber myself again. I'm right behind you. Now, I'll show you what I this know. This is one of the little exploits I was telling you about. Okay, so you have to spend money for certain people that can teach you things. You can teach you how to be a better person, since I'm close to being leveled up. And now, what do you want me you to can carry? Go right back in, and that money you just paid him, you can take it back. And then after he teaches you certain levels, you can level up. And let's go ahead and get this little problem taken care of. Now I should be sneak shotting Draugr's at least in one shot. Lead on. Then you can. I'll show you what I know. Reset and get five more turns at it, up to a certain level. This guy's not a, a, what do you want me to a very good trainer, so he can only show you a little bit. You want to be careful about I'll doing this with I certain know. skills. Um, because you don't want to out-level you um, yourself. Uh, you, you can go up several levels and just be a good archer, but you don't have good armor skill, and the, the bad guys are going to level up. They're going to outpace you. So don't go crazy with that exploit. There you go. Now I don't have to deal with that one extra little sliver of damage. Okay, I thought there was one in there. Maybe not. That's more like it. Another level. There you go. Sneak on him. That's better, though. That's better. Keep getting my health. Okay, let's let's really get some damage going with these bows. All right. Like I said, you don't want to overdo it. You know, do it every once in a while. You know, finish out a level or something like that. But unless you're getting your armor and skill and everything up, okay. I think uh, this video has been long enough, so we're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger and uh, call it a part here. Thank you so much for joining me on uh, Mad Cardigan, and uh, we will see you in the next one.